You may remember in the last video this happened. What was that? Uh, I think I know what that is. What is it? There's only one thing that can be. What? Keep your feet well away from there. Why? It's a prop shaft. We're not going anywhere far. Not the side of the road again. Oh man. So what happens when the prop shaft? Oh man, oh man, it's gonna be expensive. What's happened? Um, yeah, the prop shaft's come off. On the other hand, it looks pretty beastly sitting there. I really don't <laughs> care right now. <laughs> yeah! The defender broke it down. What happened was the actual piece that's broken, Josh? Ah, uh, well, it was the UJ universal joint, but because that flung off, that also bent the prop. So we need a prop and a UJ. We need a prop and a UJ. I am literally calling non stop, literally, they didn't just answer, uh, garages to try and find the parts that we need. The situation is we are at the garage that the tow truck brought us to. They can't get us a piece until next week, this Friday, right now. We can't stay here until next week, realistically, because we're meant to be going on trips and there's things to do with Monaco. It's going to be about, it's going to be an absolute arm and a leg to ship the car down to Monaco. 3,000. 3,000, yeah. So, I don't want to pay 3,000 to get a car to Monaco. Even if we stay here, we've got nowhere to stay, nowhere car, nothing. Exactly. So, what we currently are hoping is that someone will show up with a trailer and be able to take us, <laughs> to, take us to Monaco oh, and deal God. with the problem when the car's there, but that seems very unlikely. That's unlikely, and I'm just trying to find some parts on like eBay or something that's but local that we can pick up them. in an Uber. Sitting here right now, I mean, I know everyone's going to watch the video and see how this is going to turn out within the space of a couple of minutes. I have no idea what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do. We're screwed. don't know when we're going to be back in Monaco. It seems so far away. I'm trying to find, do you, get, do you know Blah Blah Car? No, I never it's heard of it. This thing where you can, basically someone's going from one place to another and you can hop in their passenger seat and pay for the fuel mm -hmm. to go to Geneva so we can sleep in Geneva because I got the key to the apartment and then order the part there, leave the car here somewhere, wait three days till the car part arrives in Geneva, mm -hmm. do some cold tint in Geneva and then when the part arrives, get another one of these cars back here mm -hmm. um, and then fix it and then drive down to Monaco next week. <laughs> and you can drop me off skiing. Yeah. I have a friend of mine who's driving uh, not far freer. Okay. And he could potentially, do you think he could pick the car up and drive down to Monaco or not? Well, I told him, I told him that a friend of mine is from Paris. Yeah. Yeah. Can you put us in touch so I could find out how much he would charge? Yeah, because we've got someone here who wants to charge us 3k, but because we're not sure if we're willing to pay that much just to get the car down. Okay. Oh. Now explain our dilemma. Well, we've been here, we left Paris at 8 a.m., 9 a.m., yep. and it is now nearly 7 o'clock. And this place has stayed open two hours more than they were supposed to, but they're basically going to be leaving in not long at all. And we have the dilemma of either we leave the car locked in safely in this garage and find a way, so we'll have to either go to a hotel or get ourselves to Paris, Geneva, or Monaco. And the car's safe until Monday, because they're close for weekends, which then we can maybe come back and figure it out then. Or we figure out a trailer for tonight or tomorrow morning, figure out somewhere to stay tonight, and get that trailer. But that would mean leaving the car outside of the garage, which would not be as safe if ever those trailers didn't come through. But we've got 10 minutes to make that decision. But there's a guy that's saying that he is down to your car. There's a guy saying that he might who is just testing himself. Back. Okay, so well, that didn't really go as well as we hoped. That goes well as we hope. The trade is not going to work out, so I reckon we. So now we know what we're doing. We're getting. Oh, they're moving outside. I think we should tell them not to. We need to get a car to Lyon, which will get us to Lyon at midnight, and then we need to wait four and a half hours in Lyon to get another car to Monaco. 
Okay, let's go. Right. Oh, we actually have an update this time. We did? Not a very good one. No. <laughs> we haven't sorted a trailer. We haven't sorted the car part. We haven't, yeah, basically everything's gone as badly as it could. And now, look at all of our bags. Yeah. I have just booked two blah blah cars because flights weren't possible because we need to go back to Paris. Um, trains, there aren't any trains until early tomorrow morning. And we just want to get home as soon as possible. So I booked a blah blah car from here to Lyon. So if you guys don't know what blah blah car is, this is not an ad, by the way. <laughs> um, it's where someone's driving from one place to another and they're like, why don't you just jump in and pay for fuel? We're going to get into a car with someone at the exit of the highway, so he's sort of passing by. <laughs> was that you? No. This is a nightmare. Absolute Literally nightmare. A nightmare. We are walking to a bar because we got kicked out of the garage because they closed. To be able to warm ourselves up and then we need to find this person who's bringing us the lure. My fingers feel like they're going to fall off. My face There's gloves in the bag, I found them. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh yes, gloves. Ah, that looks like a sad, sad walk. Cheers, Josh. Cheers. To what has been a hectic day. We have just bumped into the nicest people. <laughs> it's unbelievable. By the way, we this happened five minutes after the one you just the, the clip you've just seen. Oh, we're, yeah, this we're, is five minutes after we walked. Asked the space if we could, you know, call if they had a taxi number. We'd wait outside and just use their number to try and get a taxi to go to the. We're going to the. Um, exit of the highway to meet up with the black black car guy and uh, and they were like yeah no problem come on in do all this stuff and now they basically well, none of the taxis were answering so the owners of the restaurant are going to take us to where we need to go and they've sat us down given us water we're in the warmth this is amazing my fingers were so freezing my face was so freezing so these people are so nice i actually don't know the name of the restaurant but i'm going to find it to give it to you guys and if ever you're in the area please please come here because these people are the nicest people and they deserve the best things so Josh, we are gonna get the blah blah car now. So it's been an amazing experience. We want to say thank you. Merci. Thank you. Vive la Bourgogne. <laughs> this is yeah, vive la Bourgogne. Yep. We're getting into the blah blah car now. And off he goes. That was our Uber, just the part. Our Uber, our blah blah car, just the car thing. He's dropped us off in Lyon. It's about midnight, something like that. And our next blah blah car from Lyon tomorrow goes at 4.30 in the morning. Now Lyon. what? I don't know. There's a hotel here. So I reckon let's go there and and just yeah, see see what happens. Okay. This is a bit better than before. Yeah, but we're mm, not ideal. Lyon. We're waiting in a staircase. In a staircase of a hotel because it's warm. It's and they have no rooms. Really not that warm. Nope, they don't, so we are going to have to basically wait here and hope they don't kick us out. I got some food left over from the petrol station. <laughs> this trip, man. I am so unhappy right now. Huh? It's a double bed. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, it's freezing in here though. It's so cold. You know when it's like your fingers start trembling and you can feel, you can see the air in front of you? Why does no one have any hotel rooms? Yeah, why is everywhere full? Here is the question, ladies and gentlemen, that I can't be bothered to answer. <laughs> two days, two breakdowns. It's pretty good going. It's pretty good going, yeah. Land Rover, reliability, reliability <laughs> right there. So, who are we shouting out? I'm just so tired. Sorry? M O M O M O M O On Instagram, in the Instagram, Instagram. Underscore M R dot A. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your support. <laughs> yeah. M R M R A. <laughs> basically, he was trying to tell us how to get the defender going, That's and nice. he came up with a really good idea that you just pop it, the prop shaft off and put it in diff lock. The only problem with that is we had a I didn't have any tools with me, and that's the only time I've ever gone out without any tools. So, and I had what a uh, eight hour drive to go, so I couldn't do that all in diff lock because. But thank you for the effort. Yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Everything's just gone horribly wrong, hasn't it? Worse to... Yeah, from bad to worse. <laughs> That's the saying you're looking for. We just got no, kicked no, out. More, more, worse to something else. Yeah, <laughs> real shit. Outside. Yeah, we got thrown out. It is freezing cold out. Like, genuinely really cold. <sighs> I'm so cold. Look at Josh. Right, what's our plan? 
I have no idea. Should we just walk around, see if we can find somewhere? Yeah. This is not good, guys. This is not good at all. Wow. We landed on our feet majorly. We walked down the road, found another hotel called the Ibis Hotel, who were so kind and um, said they would put their, profession, their human side and put their professional side and let us sleep here, even though everything is all fully booked. Well, no, not sleep here, sorry, just stay here until 4.30 in the morning. Yeah, just um, in this kind of room. So we set up shop. I've been looking at, you know, the YouTube stats, doing a bit of work and stuff like this while we can, watching some YouTube videos. So tired because we basically haven't slept. We, slept. Well, we haven't slept. Yeah, well, we haven't slept. So, yeah, we're pretty tired. It's four o'clock in the morning now. And we've got this second um, guy picking us up at 4.30, not far from here. I'm glad we managed to find somewhere inside. I'm sorry if this video isn't the most pumped up thing ever. And those not the most well filmed, um, sort of artistically beautiful video, but we're exhausted and we've just been running around and making a video hasn't been the first thing on our priority list. So we thought we'd bring you along for the adventure, but I apologize if it's not the best video ever, but gotta do what you gotta do. Next car. Welcome to Nice. Well, we're closer to home now, but we're still not there. No. We've just been dumped. There's our blah blah car leaving right there. We've been dumped on the side of the road. We were too late, and the guy that was going to pick us up couldn't yep. anymore. So we had someone coming to pick us up, but then we got too delayed, so he can't. So I reckon I'm going to call an Uber. We're nearly there. Nearly home. Nearly, nearly home. Last bit. Also, on the bright side, the weather's brilliant. Really? That's it? It's really nice. There's much warmer than it. All the other shit we <laughs> This oh. video is going to be a mishmash of us just being in a bad mood. Yeah, but we've met some incredibly nice people we've along met the way, like the restaurant people. people. The restaurant. Yes, they were um, really nice. The yeah. guy the from the hotel, the last hotel. Because he could have got into trouble for letting us yeah. stay there. Yeah. But he said, everyone's got a professional side and everyone has a human side and I'm going to put my human side first. So kind of him. And I was like, damn. <laughs> Thank you. I can't believe it. We are home. We're home. We are yes. Home. I am so happy. We got baguette. We got chicken. We got rice. We got avocado. We got lunch. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so happy to be back. Hey, yo. Quick cat saying, Saturday in the mouth. Snow Julie.